Larry Shova, Chief Investment Officer at SFG Alternatives, joining us from the CME Group in Chicago. Larry, thanks so much for your time. Yeah, just firstly, in terms of what sure. we've been seeing between you know the moves in equity markets, the moves in bond markets, how are you viewing it all? <laughs> it's been the biggest divergence of opinion I've seen in a long time. I mean, right now, <clears throat> the asset class volatility is low for both bonds, fixed income, and the equity market. But as you know, it's like right now we have the 10-year yield at two spot 59. Uh, we can't continually blame that on the Ukraine. I mean, the Ukraine is a two-week, three-week-old story at this point. It seems right now that something is up and no one seems to know what it is. But if we just can't simply rally in the S&P 500 much further than we are now unless we get some growth or inflation, and that would imply yields at 275, 285, not 259. In terms of Ukraine as well, it's often being talked about as a reason why perhaps bonds have been rallying. I mean, in terms of that view, how significant is Ukraine, do you think? Well, I would. I think right now it's becoming less of an issue, at least from the stock market's perspective. But as we know, these things can blow up or boil at, at any point. Um, I mean, the equity market's not not absolutely crazy. It's just that there seems to be a diverging opinion on what's going on. And from my perspective, it seems like uh, the Ukraine is starting to be viewed from a rear view mirror. So could it flare up? Of course, but doesn't seem like that is the issue anymore. So just in terms as well um, with the ECB, because obviously they're meeting too this week, a lot of focus on whether um, there will be a move unlikely in your view. What do you think? Yeah, very unlikely in my view, at least at this point. I think it'd be more of the same, more rhetoric, more uh, data dependency, et cetera. Uh, the fact that they have tools at their disposal, but honestly, anything that they can do right now won't be effective anyway, and I think Draghi and ECB know that. Uh, do you have any views on, on the European markets in this environment? We look at it from the bond side and see the incredible rallies in the, in the peripherals. Equity yeah. markets have been doing relatively yes, yes. well. What, what are your views on, on Europe today? Well, today, um, today's a different story than how I look at it long term. But today, I would just stay on the sidelines. But something's brewing that you just can't seem to figure out when it comes to peripheral yields dropping as well as a 10-year yield here. Um, overall, though, long-term perspective, I still like financials um, in, in the more towards the core of Europe because we are seeing improving growth. I mean, inflation definitely is an issue or the lack thereof. But financials, I think, um, seeing how good the banks have done over the years at tidying up their balance sheets, that seems like a safe play to me long term. Um, and just as well on China, because we did see that seem to also um, affect market sentiment earlier in the week on that weaker manufacturing read. Um, just how big yeah. of a factor is that at the moment for markets? You know, it, um, Bridie, it doesn't seem to be a huge factor because I think the market understands that China is stabilizing, even growing a little bit, but it's growing from a very high base. So uh, that we're going to see some volatility in the numbers, and that's what we've seen. But it's been a little bit comforting to see that they are growing, but again, a high base. So overall, what's your investment strategy at the moment then? Overall, I still I still believe that there's room in the equity equity market. The pain trade seems to be higher. I mean, let's face facts. China is stabilizing. European growth is improving. U.S. Uh, take out the today's trade number in GDP that was terrible last week. We're improving as well. So I still think we're in this uh, bull market cycle. We, we definitely could have puts and takes in the market, but I do believe that to be the case. I'm also bearish on uh, WTI. Also bearish on gold. I think $1,200 is my target in U.S. dollar terms at year end.